Hello everyone, it's me again, Whiskers Educational Materials is coming straight at you. In this short video we'll talk about shoulder girdle joints. Shoulder girdle or pectoral girdle is a set of bones that connect your arm to your body on either side. In humans it consists of clavicle and scapula. Pectoral girdles are to upper limbs as the pelvic girdle is to lower limbs. These girdles are parts of appendicular skeleton that anchor these additions of upper and lower limbs to axial skeleton. In humans, the only true anatomical joints between shoulder girdle and the axial skeleton are the uh, sternoclavicular joints on both sides. Now let's think uh, very carefully, what did I just say? So I'm talking about shoulder girdle and axial skeleton. Axial skeleton is basically everything that uh, has direct connection to your spine. Shoulder girdle is an addition, so that's appendicular skeleton. And we are talking about shoulder girdle connecting to your axis. No anatomical joints between scapula and the rib cage exist. That's why we call the uh, scapulothoracic joint a false joint. Uh, there are only muscular connections between the uh, scapula and the rib cage. This design of the uh, shoulder region permits great mobility of the shoulder girdle in comparison with the pelvic girdle. This is because upper limbs are not really involved in weight-bearing activities such as standing or walking. In other words, in shoulder girdle, stability is sacrificed in exchange for greater mobility. We have all this freedom of movement in shoulder. Now the uh, shoulder girdle is a complex of five joints total on each side. These joints can be subdivided into two groups. Uh, three of these joints are true anatomical joints and two of them are physiological joints or false joints where there is no real bone-on-bone -bone articulation. All of these joints, true or false, are mechanically linked together and they all contribute to all different movements of the shoulder. Now, one of the three joints in the first group is glenohumeral joint, also called scapulohumeral joint or just shoulder joint. It is mechanically linked to suprahumeral joint, uh, which is found just below uh, the acromion process, and it is uh, actually one of the uh, second group joints. But both of these joints will uh, complement each other. So uh, basically, if there is movement in one joint, there is going to be movement in the other one, and vice versa. So, second group consists of false or physiological joints. Now, these joints don't have any uh, real bone-on-bone -bone articulation. Uh, one of them we just named, uh, that's suprahumeral joint, the other one is called scapulothoracic joint. Scapulothoracic joint is an important physiological joint that cannot function without the uh, two other true anatomical joints, acromioclavicular and sternoclavicular joints, that is. Let's take a look at this once more. We have five joints total on each side of shoulder girdle, and they are subdivided into two groups. Through anatomical joints, that's group one, are acromioclavicular joint, glenohumeral joint, and sternoclavicular joint. And the last two are false physiological joints, that's group two. Uh, these are suprahumeral joint and scapulothoracic joint. I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, in later videos, we'll break it all down. We will look at these joints individually, but this is it for now. Uh, this was a brief introduction uh, to shoulder girdle and its joints. Uh, thank you for watching. This channel is very young. Uh, please help us grow. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you found this useful, share this with your friends. Um, thank you. Be well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.